two, one. Hi, my name is Daniel Walker and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the sales tools for the Interact Hospitality. We have here to the uh, Interact Hospitality demo case which is simulating all of the features and functions we're able to deliver with inside a hotel room. We have here the uh, Interact Hospitality dashboard and so with this we're able to go through and monitor the activities happening within the room and, and the staff are able to go through and make changes to the system to best meet their, uh, their guest requirements. Both of these items are available for purchase. If you contact your regional product manager, they should be able to support you. Focusing on the demo case first. So within this self-contained case, we should have all of the elements that are required to demonstrate the Interact Hospitality proposition within the rooms. The case is split into two parts where we have in the lid a simulation of a floor plan within the hotel room. We are showing statuses such as occupancy, a doorbell, we're also showing the integration to a HVAC system through fan speed. We have an additional HVAC panel here showing whether it's in cool mode, green mode or warming. There are a series of lights throughout the different areas such as bathrooms, corridor, bedroom and the balcony. We also have colour changing lights we have blinds and we have power outlet indications. So all of these are different elements within the room that we're going to show how it is that we can control. Within the base of the case, we have a series of different products, sensors and uh, third party inputs. We have a series of different entombra finishes which can be shown to the guest, uh, sorry, shown to the customer as different options they may want to have on their uh, product. We also have a series of third party inputs that allows us to be able to demonstrate integration to other services that may be within the room. This is door entry, guest entry, staff entry, room booked, unbooked, day night response, balcony open closed and safe. Additionally we have in the middle here a corridor panel. This is intended to be mounted outside of the room. We see the room number that will be correlated to the dashboard later on. We see make up room, do not disturb, pick up laundry, as well as a doorbell press. There are two sensors which will be performing multiple functions during this demonstration, and we'll detail those in a moment. Both of these sensors are, are given with these cover discs, as we want to make sure that their functionality is triggered at the appropriate time rather than out of sequence in the demonstration. There are four untumbras shown here. There are mounting locations, so we're intended that this is the entrance panel, this is the thermostat panel, and we have two bedside panels here. So now we'll go through and begin with the demonstration and how it is there is a certain sequence we can go through to make sure that we capture all of the functionality within the Interact Hospitality Promise. The first switch we need to understand is the booked unbooked. This is like a reset to the entire demonstration. So if we toggle the switch to unbooked, this is going to turn off all of the indicators in the room. And this is to show that the system has put the room into a deep cycle so that no energy consumption has been um, put into the room. When we set the room to booked, it's now going to turn on the HVAC, so we're going to start churning the air because we know that a guest uh, arrival is imminent. From here, we will now to go through and trigger for a staff response, staff entry, door entry, we remove the cover for the left sensor and then we remove the cover for the right sensor. And we can see here that we've had a lights response. The staff entry is that we turn all of the lights on within the room, including the bathroom lights. So they're able to go in and see if there are any problems within the room and make sure that the room is clean. We're just going to reset the demonstration now for a uh, guest entry. So we go from unbooked back to booked. We're going to do a nighttime setting. The nighttime um, response is the same for both um, staff and guests. But now we're going to have a guest entrance key, door open, remove the left sensor to do the bathroom and the right sensor for the room. And we can see because it's the guests, the bathroom lights haven't switched on, but because it's a nighttime response, the balcony lights have switched on. So these are four different responses we can have to the room. Uh, this is intended to be able to show the hotel that we're able to be dynamic depending about the time of day or who's entering the room. We can have the room, room respond differently. This is just demonstrating with the lights, but by all means we could always incorporate the blinds or the colour changing panels if required. 
It's always best practice just to put the discs back over the sensors, as that just keeps the presentation a bit neater. Now that we have the guest within the room, the guest would be typically be going through and pressing different um, buttons to sequence the lighting scenes. So we've got a relax scene, we've got a work scene, and we have a reading scene. So with this, we're intending on showing that a single button press can command the control over multiple lighting groups and being able to address the color changing lighting bars. This allows for this, the guest not having to uh, interact with multiple buttons and being able to press all over the place, just trying to get the lights to do what they want. With this system, we're able to turn around and have a single press coordinate all of the lightings into a, uh, a strategic scene. We also have toggle presses, so if we wanted to be able to turn the lights on and off, each of these functions can be simulated from here. We have two buttons that have been marked as relax, and the intention of this is to be able to show that the LEDs will track uh, between the two user interfaces. So all of the network devices are listening to each other. The next panel that the guest may be wanting to interact with is for the room status. So from here, the guest can select privacy, and this will um, set the privacy indicator and disable the doorbell. If they set to make up room, it clears the privacy command and allows us to be able to um, ring the doorbell. We're also uh, able to, uh, at the same time, set for service uh, requests. If the guest then turns around and clicks for privacy, it will clear these previous statuses and just uh, mark for the privacy command. Next, we have the HVAC control panel. So from here, we're able to go through and adjust for the different thermostats. If we raise the temperature above 23 degrees Celsius, we will see this indicator go uh, red. If we go below 23, it will then go blue. And this is intended to be able to show the different statuses that we give to the HVAC system. We can also adjust the fan speed, which will be shown here within the screen. And we're showing this in the lid to say that we've communicated to the HVAC system giving the different fan speed indications. We're also able to turn the, um, the HVAC off, which will turn off the fan speed. Any button will bring it back on. And we can also set the uh, HVAC to green mode, and this will be shown inside this color panel here as well. Next, we have the alarm setting. So this is something where the guest may want to be able to wake up. Um, before the alarm is set, the panel will show the logo for the hotel if required. We go into the alarm status, we can um, go through and set at what time the guest would, would like to trigger the alarm sequence. <clears throat> Once this has been set, that trigger time is then shown inside the display. It doesn't actually um, trigger that response within the case, but we can make this turn on the lights, turn on the colour lights, open the blinds, ring the doorbell, whatever the case may be that we may be connected to. The next panel, we have our blind control. So we have a blind control indicator here, and the intention is that when we open the blinds, the light comes through this panel in a chase sequence, a single press for open, and then a single press for close, and this will go uh, send the sequence in reverse. We can stop it halfway through, so if we press open and then press open again, the sequence will stop. Pressing back, we will now see the, um, the sequence go in reverse. The next feature that we want to be able to display is that we're going to show the master off and the anti-stumble functionality. I've set the room to make up room to show that when we hit for the master off function, so we're going to first switch all the lighting on. When we go into master off, the room will automatically be set to do not disturb. The sensors have changed their functionality to now be anti-stumble sensors. These are typically mounted underneath the bedside table and then scanning next to the bed, so that if the guest tries to leave the bed, it'll light up a pathway to the bathroom, and then the bathroom sensor will then detect the guest is in the bathroom. Once the guest has left the bathroom, um, we will then have a sequence of turning off the lights after about five seconds. And so this is a part of the automation system where we're trying to show that the guest doesn't have to actively interact with different elements, that we are constantly detecting what their requirements may be and then adjusting the lighting to suit. The next part of the demonstration, I'm going to go through the dashboard. So this is the Interact Hospitality dashboard. It's an extension of the original Dynalite system manager um, head-in software. So from this, we still have all of our useful macros 
and scheduling functionality. This is a console page for facility management to get an overview about what's happening on their site. Uh, we can also use the software to manage the back of house areas for scheduled functionality, front of house, ballrooms, um, facade lighting, whatever the case may be. With this one piece of software, we're able to do the entire project management from the um, house lighting um, and this console page here, the, uh, the guest management dashboard. The dashboard is broken up in showing the navigation for the different floors. Uh, in this demonstration, we're always on floor two and we're always looking at room 237. We're simulating um, a series of network events within the dashboard to show the, di the, uh, the different panels changing status. So every now and again, you're going to see the room change its state. Each of the rooms is represented by one of these tiles where we see the, floor, uh, the room number. We have different status indicators for do not disturb, make up room, pick up laundry, tray picker. The green dot is to indicate um, the system's status within the room, so all of the devices within this room are reporting back healthy. The green bar is to show occupancy, and we can see temperature and humidity being reported to the room. We also have a short um, event timeline, so this shows the staff what's going on in the room most recently. With this page, we're able to turn around and introduce some filters. And so the staff can um, turn around and say, right, we want to be able to see which rooms uh, require a tray pickup. And so from this, we've filtered out the rooms and only want to be able to see the rooms that require a tray pickup. And we can also filter further and say, right, which rooms have been in this state for 30 minutes or whatever the case may be. Now, the idea of this is that we're wanting to be able to direct staff to the different floors so that they're able to be managed more efficiently and effectively. Other things that we can check for is occupancy rates, um, how long people have been checked in or occupied the room. We can also do um, health checks on the HVAC system to see how hot the rooms are getting or humid rooms that are offline. Now, each of these filters we can control through their logon. So if you have um, the authority to be able to go through and see or make changes to that, we can deny people access to some of these features and functions depending on their logon. So we're just going to clear those filters. Remove the filter view. There we go. And now we can see an overview of what's happening on the floor. Looking into the room, we can take a look and see uh, all of the services that are available into the room. So we can see that it's occupied. From here, we're able to go through and put the HVAC into different modes, uh, auto, green, VIP. In VIP mode, this may stipulate that the HVAC system will continue to operate even if the balcony door is open. But then in green mode, it will then operate at its most efficiently. And we can log how, how long a uh, guest has kept their room in green mode in case that this is tied to some sort of reward program that the hotel is offering. We can see the different statuses uh, within the room and how long that the room has been in that particular status. We have a HVAC panel that allows us to go through and adjust, the, um, see what the set point the guest has set to and make changes to that. Fan speed. We also see the alarm, um, balcony door status and control of the lighting. From here, we also have a timeline of events, so we can see um, what messages have been going between the room to the dashboard and the dashboard to the room. And this allows for staff to be able to see a trend within the, in, within the room. So if the guest calls up and says that there is a problem that the room is too hot, but they've only just adjusted the room down for the last hour or so, then we're able to inform the guest that the HVAC system is coming up to speed and will eventually start to cool down the room. If not, we're able to go through and make those adjustments from here. There is an engineering tab that shows the status of all of the devices, and this can be raised alerts to facility management so that if there is a problem with the system in the room, that it is the facility management that know first before the guest um, raises the concern. All of this information can be downloaded so that if the, uh, the hotel want to get some insights about the rates of occupancy, the desired set point, uh, how long it takes for the HVAC systems to be able to reach those set points depending on the east and the west side of the building. All this uh, analytical information is there ready to be uploaded and we're creating the analytical tools that will hopefully be able to present this and give insights about how the, uh, the hotel is operating and sort of give insights about what changes they can make to be more efficient without being disrupted to the guest comfort. 
What I'm going to demonstrate now is how it is that this dashboard is connected to this case. So the case is, uh, has a built-in Wi-Fi router and that allows us to be able to connect to um, a, a remote laptop or a Microsoft Surface in this case. And so what can happen here is I've uh, been able to show that if a guest calls up and complains that the balcony door is open, um, I've made a change in the case on the flick switch here to show balcony door open, and then this has um, changed the status within the dashboard. This is time stamped so that we can see when this event has taken place, and then when we change the balcony door status, you will see that it's now gone to close. From the dashboard, I can cancel the alarm in, on the request of the guest if this is uh, needed. But then we can go through and reset that alarm. And that will push this message back to the dashboard. And this allows for the hotel to then act on that. So if they feel that um, they also want to be able to do this as a wake-up call, it's part of their service, then they've been given the information to be able to provide that. They also have full control over the HVAC system, so that if necessary, they can adjust the fan speed. And you'll see as I'm adjusting the fan speed, this has also been shown in the case. Green mode has been shown in the case. And we're also able to take control over the lightings, and so we can put the case into different preset scenes. No, I'll just recall the same scene. So, that's how it is that we're hoping to be able to communicate the value proposition of the Interact Hospitality case. The case is available for order, and you are able to download and have installed the uh, Interact Hospitality dashboard. You will need to email support.controls at signify.com and then I'm going to get them to go through and assist you in loading up those files. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, please feel free to reach out to the team. Uh, Yella Sega, our fearless uh, segment leader, or Stephen Craig, our enthusiastic uh, segment product manager, or myself, the humble hardware product manager, Daniel Walker. And let us know uh, any comments, questions, or feedbacks when giving this presentation you have, as it's this that helps us fine tune and get our message better. I hope you've learned something from this presentation and thank you for your attention.